Having a healthy investment account requires the same amount of work as having a healthy, fit body. If you want to get to the Olympics, you have to put a plan in place. It takes hard work and good coaching. Being wealthy doesn't happen by luck either. At Brisbane Money Management, we have more than 50 years experience coaching people to their financial goals. It's never too soon to start. Start today. How are the boys uh, ready for today's game? Yeah, good mate. Yeah, no, it's uh, the last couple of weeks we've had a couple of wins. So um, yeah, the boys are going in ready for uni. Uni's always a uh, yeah, it's a tough battle every year. We're always fighting out for uh, you know fourth or fifth position. So today is going to be no different, I would imagine. Yeah, strong game against uh, the Balimba guys. So that would be a, a real measure for today's um, performance, don't you think? Yeah, well, Bulls are a, they're a top five side. So if you can beat a top four or five side, you know that's a good gauge. We're doing well if we if we uh, compete against them. Uni once again, yeah, top five side. So they're the side you you need to beat. So we're not you know, uh, fighting it out for fifth position at the end of the year. Uh, Ash, how are the guys uh, feeling today, this uh, game against Labrador? Yeah, not too bad. It's always a tough contest going against Labrador. Um, every game we've played against them has just been down to one or two goals. So, yeah, we always expect a good game against them and can't see why it'll be any different today. So you had a good uh, win against uh, the Bulls uh, last week. Um, does that uh, lift the spirits and the determination for today? Yeah, Definitely, Bulimba's a good team, so just to get the points away from them is, is yeah, I guess something every team wants to do, and just a real gutsy win, so the fellas are real pumped up after that, so, yeah, take a win over Bulimba any day. At the umpire signal, we're good to go in this Brisbane Money Manager match between Labrador and University of Queensland. Piggin, Piggin, now with Wilson, slipped by, by Quan, gives a chance, good work from... Watts to shut that down, but still a chance for Labrador. Still there. Shot. It's still in. Umpire signals. Stroke. And if you have a look at the replay, Mick, just talk us through it. Yeah, I think if you see the um, the university defender there behind the goalkeeper where the ball comes through, it actually comes off his stick onto his back foot. So correct decision there by the other. Oh, perfectly placed by Reed, and That makes it Labrador 1, Uni 0. Set. Balls in, goes to Rintala. Rintala, drag flag, and that's the backboard being hit. Squares up the game, one goal all. Yeah, great injection there from uh, University to Rintala. He gets that ball, and the, the trapper traps that ball absolutely perfect. There it is, nice and low. Goalie's got no opportunity. Ball beating him into the back corner. Yeah, one. Works it across to the far side. There's Rin. Rin. Got half ground holes in front of him. Gets it into the circle. Across the top of the spot, there's a chance. Straight at Watts from Hughes. And the ball's cleared. Still with Labrador through Bingham. Back to Livermore. Now to Tyne. Tyne gets it to Weyer. Weyer brings across the spot and not clear by power. Still alive. And again, Quan off the line. Great bit of build up there. You can see the ball comes back where um, Labrador injected in the circle. They actually don't panic here. The players are there. Ball's been ricocheted. They still have enough time to reset it, but uh, University, nice, would you say, left-hand squat of the ball and uh, square cut. Yes. Lovely pull shot from Quan to get that ball clear. And Uni on the attack through Rintala. Gets it across to Hathaway. Hathaway gets it in the circle. Straight shot, a goal, but the tap-in couldn't be made. Blast it forward. Finds Reed a nice touch pass to Piggin. Piggin into the circle, looking for Wilson. Wilson, can he get it past Watts? No, he can't. Good strike, but Hughes has got another shot. Again, Watts is in the way, and University get the free Luckily hit. Luckily, has it knocked away by Wilson. Didn't see Wilson coming. Now with Imer, trying to get it to Reardon. Reardon switches across to Wilson, and that was not through the net, but at the back. I haven't seen an umpire yet lose the debate. O'Driscoll gets it through to Wilson. Now with Hughes, Tomahawk. Nice save again by Watts. Still not out of trouble. Now with Wilson again and penalty corner. Ooh. Very interesting here. I thought it might have been a very good tackle here from um, University at the back, but Watts there lives up to the challenge to the right, but um, Hathaway pushing it down to the left there and caught Newman out of, out of his position. Reardon trying to get it away from Hennigan. Oh, 
Wow, gives him a nice lead. And gets into the circle. Shot! Back of the net. That makes it two goals to one. Yeah, Reedon really took control there. Got the ball on to, um, to Wire. So we'll have a look at this on the replay. Reedon takes his time, gets the two players there, eliminates it. Wyden's, Wyden's sitting there by himself. Enters to the top of the circle. Direct hit. Right hand side. Goalies hate that position. And uh, nice and low. He's just settling things down. He's got three around him. And turns it over. Piggin gives it to Livermore. Livermore throws it high for Hughes. Hughes brings it down in the circle. Gets around two. Umpire says play on. Gets it past Watts. That's the third goal. Labrador goal, three goals to one. Yeah, I think uh, on the replay here, Peter, we'll see Livermore takes the right option, actually. Just that nice little flick up over the top for the, uh, his player out there by himself. Has a lot of work to do here with the ball dragging. Just being able to do the goalkeeper coming over and flicking it underneath his feet. So it was a great little, um, little flick there. Great control inside the circle. Didn't rush. Kept going, get the ball back, and just bang, straight through around the back of the goalie for a nice goal. And now okay. I'm up. Finds Livermore. Centre field. Livermore. Finds Hughes. No, Wilson. Wilson. Tomahawk shot. Oh, fantastic save from Watson. Watts is doing up his players to mark up tighter in the circle. Yeah, great play here from Labrador. You can see the actual control. They're not rushing. They're getting their man. They're freeing their man. They're actually getting that time to have that shot on goal. Now Greg was talking to the boys at halftime. Had him out on the sideline there. Oh, Wilson picks up a errant pass. Gets it to Hughes. Hughes into the circle. Watts has to dive and push it clear. But straight to Piggin. Piggin. Back into the circle. Now with Hughes. Hughes across to the face of the circle. That dribbles over the baseline. And that's the fourth goal for Labrador. Yeah, lesson number one, if um, if you are a, a striker at home, is if you want to be that postman, to be on the post. If you have a look at this, it's all Labrador looking for that man right on that post. The goal. Ball comes in. Again, Hughes. Variation. Across the face. Piggin couldn't get a touch on it. But ball's in. This time. Second battery. Variation. Good save again from Watts. From. He finds Reardon. Reardon under pressure. Still gets it in the circle. Shot a goal. And through the pads of Watts for the fifth goal. Labrador leading five goals to one. Yeah, w Wilson does well here. Um, Piggin gets the ball to Wilson. Wilson's at, at the top of the circle. There he is there. You can see what has a go, puts the left leg out, but uh, I think it deflects off the inside the left leg in for the goal. So a bit unsighted there by Watts, had a shot at it, but uh, nice goal. Up to left, there we go, Livermore on the ball again. So um, very interesting how Labrador actually used those two at a very tight in that centre, and they control it very well. And the ball in the circle, Watts comes out, open goal, and the umpire says, that's a goal. Nice goal, and I think I think we go back to exactly that, Peter. We look at the back end of there, that they're just controlling that centre ball, getting the ball, getting the angles, giving the guys room and time and space. Watts was a long way out for the goal there. Oh, a nice oh Labrador on top here at the moment. The interception, goalie's out, on top of the circle. There's two, there's three Labrador guys in there. That's a fake shot, not quite sure what happened there. But, um, oh, Watts is up to it, ricochet off his head. <laughs> I think he's headbutted that, Peter. I think that's a Falcon. Have a look at this one. Bingham does well. He sees Watts well out. Gives it to Wilson. Wilson couldn't get the shot in because of Kershaw. Watts back on his feet and dives and fortuitously gets his helmet in the way. Can't believe it. Down. Six goals to one. Labrador. Absolutely enjoying themselves out there at the moment. And this is Tim Forrester. Oh, another shot at goal and another Great goal. Yeah, you can see here Labrador really taking a stab up, finding man in space. Have a look at this. Ten runs it down the sideline. Just flicks it into the circle. Got a lot of time. No one actually there. And uh, the striker, again, off his post. Rolls. Labrador. Hughes. Gets it through. To Tyne. Tyne of the shot. It's blocked. Now Reardon. Oh, another great save from Watts. Again, look at, the, look at where the striker is off that post. So you've got uh, Labrador pushing the ball in a lot of time. A lot of players not coming. To get to the offload. Have a look at the guy at the back corner there, right on the post. Brought get... down by Foresight. But turned over by Labrador. Tyne. He's looking to get to Bingham. Bingham's got it in the circle. Does well. Tomahawk shot. Nice save again by Watts.
Yeah, nice little replay here. Look at it again. Look at the time that Labrador have got here to be able to push the ball. Has a great shot. Look at the reflex of Watts that he got in a minute, but um, seen some really good passes and um, seeing some opportunity as we are right now. Uni, beautiful intercept. Yeah, Drew Wenzel sweated on that ball, got it away from O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll comes back at him. Umpire's playing advantage. Drew Wenzel still with the ball. Can he get it past Weiss? No, he can't. Weiss made a good save, got in the way, and that's the yarn of good goalkeeping. Brought in. Circle. Wilson. Gets around one. Lays it off straight at the helmet again. Kershaw. Trying to get it cleared. Ridden has it. Into the circle again. Imer across the spot. Corey Pye off the crossbar. Yeah, great, great, great work there. You, you can see it in the replay. Again, Labrador just controlling the ball, making the simple passes. You watch why here. There he is. Man, I oh mean, have a look where the guy is on the post. You know, you've got that striker. He's standing there unoffended, you know, so... So, another penalty corner. Will we see another Joel Rintal and drag flick? Yes, we do. And this time, he makes it hit the back of the net. That makes it University 2, Labrador 7. You don't get too many chances, do you? Second chance is when you've got a drag flicker that uh, can flick the ball as good as he can at that side. So, you can see University here, again, set themselves well. The ball is trapped beautifully on top of the circuit. Look at the flick on the top left corner. There's no way in the world that anyone's going to stop that Goals on here. So, across the far side, that's halfway. Gets it in the circle, shot on goal. And just touched by the keeper. And there's the full-time siren. And an entertaining game, but Labrador way too good for University. I thought okay. we just had a very good game today, a very pleasing effort from the boys. Um, that's probably one of the better games we've played this year. Some nice ball movement there. Uh, uni were probably missing a few players uh, through injuries and things, but still very pleased with that effort uh, that we were able to go on with it, especially for Luke Tyne's 100th game for the club. Um, and also Adam Imer's last game before he heads off before the uh, Rio Olympics. Well, fantastic effort. And, uh a penalty stroke against Watsy. How'd you feel? Yeah, I was happy to put one past Watsy. He had another blinder. He always plays well, so very pleased that that went in. So, that's no, good. I imagine we're trying to lull everybody into a false sense of security. Pete, that's probably about the best spin I can put on that. Uh, that's another uh, less than adequate performance uh, tonight by the uni boys. Um, we've got some work to do. So, how do you come back from a game like that? Uh, well, yeah, I think I used that uh, the hackneyed phrase last, last time. Uh, we've just got to suck it up and get on with it. Uh, well, yeah, there's work to do. There are plenty of things for us to take away from this game. Uh, you know, uh, can't take it away from Labrador. They played some, some quality hockey. We let their distributors run wild. Uh, receive free ball. If you're going to do that, you're just going to get hurt. Anyway, uh, there's a lesson. We'll, uh, we'll write that one down.